These are my honest opinion. Actually, sa totoo lang, this is not sponsored. They don't give me money to tell you about them. And hindi ako paid. Hindi ako endorser. So these are my honest, 100% opinion. A promo for all of you guys who have been watching. Three preschool sessions for free. Again, absolutely free. I will let you know all the details about that by the end of this video, so watch until the very end. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about River School Jimbury Play and Learn, Sofitel. If you're interested in knowing what my thoughts about the school, and your experience namin, and if I would recommend it to you guys, just keep on watching. Alright, so let's start this video. First of all, what is Jimbury? Jimbury is actually a clothing brand from the US but they also have a company na Play and Learn wherein they have different classes and activities designed for 0 to 4 years old na mga kids. So, Jimbury has been here in the Philippines for a long time and I've always been curious about them. I see them in the malls. Pero since I have a kid na which, which the moment that River turned into toddler, naging super curious na ako about them. So, uh, what will happen when you go to a Jimbury school? They actually have a play option lang wherein you just play by the hour. But they also have different classes specific to your child's age. And yeah, child's age. And they have like, uh, we'll talk about it more later. Pero you can avail of that or you could avail of the just the gym play lang. Um, when you go inside, you will have to wear socks if you're an adult. And yung baby mo will have to be barefoot more for traction for them para hindi sila masyadong madulas and if you're thinking if Jimbury is something that you could leave your child no it's not that way you have to still stay with your kid if you're going to go to Jimbury with your kid hindi mo siya pwedeng iwan sa ano sa nagbabantay so hindi siya daycare center and why did I choose the Jimbury Sofitel? Because number one, it's like 10 minutes away from where we live right now. And number two, I love Sofitel, the hotel. It's so nice. Most of my flight attendant friends, they do lay over there. So at the same time, we can visit them pag nandun sila. And I think that it's a really nice location. You will always have parking. It's not going to be a problem with you if you're one of those people that have a problem with parking. And uh, I think the ambience is really nice, you know, going to the school. Hindi siya yung crowded like a mall. So, hindi mas less yung chances na magkakasakit yung anak mo or something like that. So, let's go on and start with the review. I would like to tell you guys about the pros and the cons. And at the last, very last part of this video, is my recommendation and also a promo for all of you guys who have been watching this videos. If you know my channel, you already know that I always give out different giveaways and promos. So this time I'm gonna give away free preschool three classes. In let I will let you know all the details about that by the end of this video. So watch until the very end. Okay? So first of all, the pros, the Jimbury play and learn is toddler friendly and safe kasi number one napaka pad padded lahat ng floors and areas rounded yung mga furnitures and it's absolutely 100% safe for your child to play in so hindi na siya kailangan ni child proof maybe much safer than your house actually mom she's so number two uh i I have one of the pros na if you enroll your kid to Jimbury is that the socialization skills. So most of us, our kids are friendly and everything so walang problems sa socialization or if you live with a lot of relatives ano, sa Pilipinas, hindi talaga yung problema. But for us, our original families are in the province and it's just me and Dada here in Manila and we were just can't go socialize because we don't live in a big condo. We live in an apartment building. There's no other kids in the building. <laughs> and offices na yung nasa baba, our office and ibang offices. And there's no way for him to go out and socialize sa isang village or something like that. So this is perfect for us, people living in the city and working in the city. 
if you hear sa a baby that's a river <laughs> is playing right now so ayun um maganda siya sa socialization kasi the kid will get to experience other adults and then other kids their age so for me it's a very perfect way to transition them from going to school. Kesa naman sa dere-derecho lang sila sa school, naiiwan mo na sila doon, di ba? Yung ibang bata na to traumatized because of that. So, Jimbury is a, is a good transition place for them to practice going to school. At first, syempre kasama ka pa. And then, as they get confident in themselves, as they get confident in their socialization skills, pagdating sa real school, I think much better na i-handle nila yun. Kasi nasanay na sila sa something like this. And the third thing that is a pro for Jimbrae for me is the kids learn. Number one thing na we wanted them to do sa Jimbrae is for them to learn, learn how to follow instructions, learn how to, to you know how to do the classes. So the the good thing about Jimbrae is the fourth thing that I want to emphasize is their classes are age appropriate. So for rivers classes, yung time ng class at saka yung mga subject and the activities ng class naka-design talaga siya for his specific developmental age or yung ano yung kaya niyang gawin as a baby from I think 16 months old to 24 months old. Yung mga kailangan, mga kaya lang nilang gawin. So parang you won't feel na your baby is too behind or too advanced and ganon. So <laughs> for Weaver's age, he has 45 minutes of classes, 15 minutes warm up, and 30 minutes then yung actual class talaga. So ayun. The fifth thing I wanna say sa pros is when it comes to classes, they are they are patterned over an international curriculum which has been used and applied in the states. And I like that for my kid para hindi lang siya yung, alam mo yun, parang yung natututunan niya is hindi lang yung dito sa atin na local but also the same things na natututunan ng ibang babies worldwide. So, yun nga, ang um, classes na available sa Jimbury is art class, music class, and then they have play class. I like it that they could learn through play. Uh, naglalaro lang talaga kami pero it's structured, there's like, Find the circle, mga ganun. Go inside the circle. If the subject is circles. And then there's a subject na they will learn about up and down. So I think mas nagkakaroon ng structure yung daily living namin na kung ano yung matututunan ni baby at that specific class. Kasi pag sa bahay lang, I'm all for homeschooling and I'm actually gonna try to do that siguro for River. Pero um, minsan, hindi ko naga... Ngayon, wala pa kasing homeschool for his age, hindi ko pa siya pwede ni enroll sa homeschool, at least kasi preschool. So, wala akong curriculum and hindi naman ako teacher. <laughs> hindi ko alam kung ano yung mga different things na kailangan ituro sa anak ko. Uh, siguro, we just learn sa basics, ABCs, 1, 2, 3, shapes, yun lang. Pero, how to do it professionally like a teacher does, uh, malaking tulong yung classes nung Jimbury for me. You know, one less headache for a stay-at-home mom like me. <laughs> So, yun. Um, speaking of classes, number six sa mga pros sa aking list is I like na maliit lang yung class size nila. Actually, yung first class ni River, dalawa lang sila ng classmate niya. Yung second class, ganun din. Dalawa lang din sila. And yung third class niya, yun, naging tatlo sila. So, very tutok na tutok yung teacher sa each and every kid. Of course, siguro gusto mong isipin na Gusto mo mas marami para mas may socialization skill yung baby. Pero I think sakto na yung dalawa and tatlo kasi River's very shy baby and kahit nga lang isang tao na hindi siya familiar with, he shuts down and he doesn't wanna interact. Ganun siya. So, so perfect for us yung class size ni Jimbri. And then, um, the next thing that I wanna talk about is uh, sa number 7 pro ko is the teachers are trained, hindi sila yung basta-basta lang teacher, but they really are trained teachers to handle kids at their age. So, they have lots of songs, they have lots, you know, the way they talk to the kids, and the way they, you know, the, yung patience nila, hindi siya yung same siguro na makukuha mo, for example, if you enroll your kid in a public nursery or something like that. So, I really like that they are properly trained to handle babies. 
not just, you know, mga students talaga. So, ayun. Yun ang aking number 7 pro for Jimbury. Number 8 naman is, uh, I wanted to say na when it comes to being a stay-at-home mom and entertaining your toddler, sometimes maubusan ka na ng ideas and in a week's time, probably magkaka-cabin fever na yung anak mo at saka ikaw. So, Jimbury is a really great opportunity for me to get out of the house and socialize with other parents and, you know, empathize with them, sympathize with whatever um, struggles they're going through with their toddler, diba? So, you know, these are the trying times. So, I like that it changes their routine. And for baby, so excited to go outside the house. Alam na niya, when it's time to go to school, he's so happy. And usually, he's in a good mood pagpapunta na siya sa school. So, I make sure na he gets his nap and he's well-fed before we go to the school para maganda yung mood niya. Number nine, I think we're at number nine, uh, isa sa magandang pros ng nadulot ng Jimbury for us is nagkaroon ng mas matibay na bond si baby and me. Kung sino man yung nandoon sa class niya. Dati kasi Dada will go to his class and Dada will be the one to participate sa class. So yeah, mas naging strong yung bonding nila kasi there, ir, there are parent and kids activities that they have to perform. Like for example, sa music class, Dada will have to perform the Elvis songs. And it's actually a workout for them. Nakakapagod. So yun. Um, at saka isa pa, when the baby is in a new environment, he will cling to the parent. So mas, mas nagkikling siya sa parent pag nagsistart na yung class. So, ayun yung nangyari sa amin kay River. Talagang yakap na yakap siya sa amin. And I feel na mas nagigain, nagigain namin yung trust niya kasi we're always there for him whenever he needs to hug us before he goes back to playing. So, it's a good bonding moment for mommy and daddy and the baby. So, ayun. And number nine, last but not the least pro na gusto kong sabihin about Jimbury is that Ako aminado ako, we use screen time for River, especially when eating because gustong-gusto ko pag kumakain siya, marami siyang nakakain. So sometimes you will get 30 to 1 hour screen time or more sometimes, lalo na pag we travel far. So for me, uh, having this activity, it doesn't require any screens. So nas na lesson yung screen time niya and nagkaroon siya ng opportunity to do to do and something else than watch a screen, watch his iPad. Um, for me, this is very big deal. Because right now he's almost two years old. He is at 19 months, mag to 20 months na siya, but still doesn't talk. So, <laughs> and the doctor said it's because of screen time. So as long as he interacts with us, nothing to worry about. After two, we'll have to check. So, yun nga, yung mga myth na nagsasabi na sometimes screen time causes autism because of that. Dahil nga kasi, because kung nag ipad na nag ipad yung anak mo at wala siyang kausap, probably he will go autistic, yun yung sabi nila. So, kasi nga, hindi sila nagsasalita talaga. So, nakita ko talaga yun kay River, hindi talaga siya nagsasalita. Until now, he just does broom broom eh, eh, for egg. And uh, sometimes mama and dada, but hindi talaga siya yung ma-expressive sa kung anong gusto niyang gawin. He just points out and he does sign language. So, medyo need talaga namin to. Sa totoo lang, it's a get, it's a great pro for us na, it's a great pro for us na in, in-enroll namin sa Jimbury's River kasi talagang nabawasan yung screen time niya because of it. So, those are all the nine pros na I could tell you guys about my experience in Jimbury. Now naman, punta naman tayo sa cons. So the, the cons for me is the cost, number one. I know that not all people will be able to afford it, pero kami ni Dada talagang we allocated resources for this kasi we know na we need it since we don't live in a, in a compound with so many relatives and kailangan talaga namin socialization skills and less in the screen time. So, we allocated it in our budget and I really think it's worth it. Kasi naman, nag-research din ako magkano yung iba. If you will go, for example, sa isang play school na per hour, mas malaki yung magagastos mo kesa sa you get a bundle na three times a week na. So, 
Without further ado, these are the costs of Rivers, ano, Rivers class. At his level, level 4 point, uh, level 4 na class niya. So ito, papakita ko sa inyo. Iba-iba po ito per, per branch. Ha? So this one is just for Jimbury. So for level 4 class, merong play class, music class, and art class. Ito yung prices nila. If, for example, you want to do it in the 4 weeks yung minimum. Sa so 4 weeks, if you want to do Jimbury once a week, it's 4,000. If you want to do Jimbury 2 times a week, it's 75. If 3 times a week, it's 10,000. And if 4 times a week, it's 12,000. So, depende on how long yung program na gusto nyo, ilang weeks nyo siya gusto i-enroll, whole year ba, or just one month, it depends then kung gano'ng karami per week ang babayaran nyo. So, so, yan po yung table. And on top of that, you have to ensure a membership fee. So, there is a membership rate wherein you can do an annual membership or a lifetime membership. Sa annual membership, it's 2 5 And then you get 5 free gym play coupons. Ito po yun. So, this is convenient. So, I can use this for up to 5 years old on their play gym. And it has to be, each child should be accompanied by an adult. And the adult has to wear socks. Niya. So, this is good for 1 hour, yung isang coupon na ganito. So, I can use it at any Jimbury Play and Music Center in the Philippines only. Kasi siyempre international sila. They have other Jimbury uh, classes in other countries. So, this one is just for the Philippines. So, yun. Yun yung cost niya. Actually, for me, I think, it's good value for money kasi I know their comp competition. And actually, one of my kumare... She enrolled her class in their competition and she asked me how much is Jimbury and she compared it to her child's tuition sa little gym. It's much higher guys, like mas higher ng 3,000 and then once a week lang. And then ako, 10,000 10, yung kinuha ko, this one. Uh, three, three times a week, it's like 10,000 pesos. And... 10,000 yun nabayaran ko and then that's three, three classes in a, in a week. Yung sa kanya kasi, much, much mahaba pero isang beses sa isang linggo lang and then yun nga, one, one, time, one time lang per week and then much expensive siya ng 3 to 4,000 I guess yun. So for me, nakasulit na ako kasi sa competition pa lang ni Jimbury, mas mababa na yung rate niya. So for those of you oh, who are thinking about um, knowing the cost, you have to specify, specific talaga dapat sa Jimbury branch nyo kasi iba-iba po yung prices and then iba-iba rin po, depende sa edad ng baby nyo po. So, ayun. Yun yung first con for me is yung cost niya. Siyempre, wala nang libre ngayon, mom. She's, kailangan natin magtipid. So, ito yung aking Jimbury card pala. So, ito yung membership card ni River, good for one year. Ayan. Ayan. <laughs> may, mga, may mga ano dyan. Pero ito yung ano niya, yung kanyang uh, membership. Ayan. Tapos ito pala yung kanyang school card. So we booked four classes in one month lang. So yan, yan. Lalagyan ng stamp every time matapos. Another con na I want to talk about when going to Jimbury is, of course, there is a time commitment. So, you have to commit your child to, for example, uh, MWF three times, three times a week. And you have to follow through because if not, there's no way for you to extend your classes. There's only for four weeks na package, you can only extend once. One week lang yung extension and then that's it. So, siguro cons siya for people like... Um, yung may mga iba't ibang events na kailangan natin na, na you don't know, it's not fixed yung schedule like me. For example, I have to do a speaking uh, a speaking commitment for a school tomorrow. So, mamimiss ko yung class ni River tomorrow kasi that's all the way in La Salle University in, in Antipolo. And there's no way that I can go to Antipolo and come back just in time for River's class. I will try. Pero pag na-late ako, I won't be able to 
use that anymore. May extend ko lang siya one week na lang. So, and next week, meron pa kaming isang event na kailangan atinanan, which I just found out yesterday. So, siguro kung na-enroll mo na yung anak mo, and then may mga upcoming events kang kailangan atinan, yun lang yung magiging cons. You're gonna miss it, and that's money lost kasi you weren't able to use it kasi nga because of the scheduling. So, you have to be committed. Mas maganda siya siguro if fix yung schedule mo sa work, and then you know already na this schedule works with my type of work. So, yun. Scheduling. Yun one of the cons. Kasi yung time commitment. Isa pa, not all classes is the same schedule. So, depende sa age ng baby mo, depende sa class na atina ng baby mo, iba-iba yung schedule nila. Hindi siya yung 8 to 5, ganun. Tsaka kasi 45 minutes lang naman yung core class ni River. So, yung parang yung life mo magde-depend sa kung ano yung schedule nila for the baby's classes. So, that's one of the cons na I found for doing Gymboree. The last but not the least cost na I wanna talk about is since nga Gymboree is not a daycare center, hindi mo iiwan yung anak mo doon, you have to participate and be part of the class. Mapapagod ka. And for me, as a pregnant woman, medyo mahirap kung wala akong kasama kasi mahahapo ka talaga kakasunod-sunod sa anak mo. Mangyayari kasi nag-workout yung baby mo, nag-workout ka rin. Yun daw yung nangyari kay dad. So, yung music class niya talagang buhat-buhat siya kay River and everything. So, one hour workout din si dada doon kasi after the class, maglalaro pa sila dun sa gym play area. So, si River pagod, si parent pagod din. Yun yung isa sa mga cons na na-experience namin while doing the gym break class. So yeah, be ready mom she's if you're going to enroll your kid or have someone to assist you pag napagod ka nakaka ano habol sa anak mo. Okay. So overall I got three cons. Those are the three cons na I've found with our experience and nine pros. So winner na siya guys, doon pa lang sa pros and cons. So my re recommendation naman for you mom she's is if you can afford or all allocate some funds in your budget to do this for your child Go ahead and do it. There's a lot of more benefits that they could gain than the cons. And it's all worth it because it's for our kids. And lalong lalo na, listen, lalong lalo na if your kid is just like River, na very shy temperament, very shy. Okay, so let's continue. Naputo lang siya. Ito yung sinasabi ko, lalong lalo na if your kid has a shy temperament like River, wherein hindi siya pala, pala kaibigan sa mga tao, hindi siya mahilig mag-socialize, it will really greatly benefit your kid. Kasi, ang nakita ko kay River, first day of school, tapos yung third day of school, yung sobrang laki ng difference. Sa third day of school, natuwa ako, he started saying hi na sa classmates niya, which he doesn't do on his first two classes. And then he was much more in a happier mood. And kahit sa mga, ano na siya ako, kahit sa mga guard nung hotel, he started saying hello to them, no? He just doesn't talk yet, pero he started doing gestures like that. And for me, that's a big deal. Kasi usually, when River sees a stranger, magtatago na yan sa amin. Sa kilikilit mo, magtatago niya na yung face niya. So, I think naka-help yung class sa kanya to be more confident, to say hi to people, ganun, and you know, na, to think na he's not in danger naman. So, he is much more social, socialized ngayon, and much more, I think, later on as we progress, hopefully he will be a much friendlier kid. <laughs> Para matuloy na yung pangarap ko maging stage mo, di ba? <laughs> so, ayun, um, that is uh, my recommendation for you and at the same time if you are going to enroll your kids in a Gymboree class make sure you allocate time the time talaga kailangan committed kayo kasi kung hindi masasayang lang yung pera nyo so we're all about you know having winner decisions here on the channel uh, you know we're all about being practical and value for money so for me uh, yun yung recommendation ko if you live in a condo, you live uh, in the city with not much, you know, kids his age, your baby's age, with not, with not much relatives na your baby can talk to, mas beneficial sa kanya yung mga ganitong classes. Different strokes for different folks, ika nga. So for me, I recommend Gymboree for professional individuals. If you could spare the allocation, the funds, and the time for your kid, 
will greatly benefit them and it would greatly help them in their developmental stage kasi ito yung stage na crucial and critical sa ating kids ito yung stage na talagang parang mag impact sa kanila for the rest of their life. So, I try as much as possible to give him nice experiences, you know, growth opportunities para mas maging confident sila later on in life. So, ayun. Um, masasabi ko lang sa Jimbury, my favorite class sa lahat ng natry ko, I tried so many classes. We tried so many classes for River, the art class, the music class, and the play class. Siguro as a mom na pregnant, <laughs> favorite ko yung art class kasi nakaupo lang kami most of the time. So, yung music class tsaka yung play class, medyo physical siya. So, if you could bring your husband or get somebody na physically fit to hold your baby while doing the activities, yun yung marirecommend ko sa inyo guys. Talagang mag-wear kayo ng comfortable clothes, socks and pants and t-shirt kasi baka you need a change of clothes pawisan kayo though aircon naman siya um yun uh, kasi physical din siya for your side and the baby's side so i also want to say i choose Jimbury Sofitel kasi they have a soccer field outside just on the hotel's outdoor area Sofitel, uh, Jimbury so Play and Learn Sofitel have access to a sports area. So, lately lang kasi ngayon maulan. So, we're not able to film there. But I saw it. It's a nice grassy area na your baby can just run around free. You know? <laughs> Sobrang uh, different sa environment niya sa bahay namin na maliit lang and just the balcony. So, Yun talaga sobrang saya and the timing of the class is perfect for us. That's why I chose Jimbury Sofitel. And if you are interested, you could check them out. They're on Instagram. I put their Instagram link here or they have their Facebook page. You could inquire through them and then yung mga numbers nila. Inquire their classes through them. And yun, uh, it was just a, such a nice experience for us. Si Dada nga actually every after class ni River. Um, he would invite me to eat at the sunset bar. Parang nagdi date na rin kami. <laughs> or we will walk around Sofitel. It's okay kasi since you're there naman for the class and we watch the sunset. So nakakaroon kami ng more family bonding together. And that is something na priceless. And hindi mo makukuha from, you know, walking around the mall or just going to the, to the church. It's different. It's a different relaxation. So every time Dada is with us, he loves going to reverse school kasi nakakapag-relax siya sa environment ng school, uh, outside the school and sa environment ng Sofitel. And River gets so tired, mom. She's, he runs all the way back and forth, back and forth talaga dun sa Sofitel grounds sa may pool area. And pagdating na pagdating niya sa bahay, pagod na siya. <laughs> Tulog na siya. So happy na si mommy kasi napagod din si baby River. So ayun. And now, I want to share with you guys a promo. Jimbury Sofitel na is exclusively available for all of you guys who, has, who is watching this video. So, if you want to try out their classes, they're opening their preschool classes na trial. That is, you will get three preschool sessions for free. Again, absolutely free free for the whole month of August only. So if you're watching this and you have a kid na pwede sa preschool, how old is that? 1.6 months old, pwede na siya i-enroll sa class na yon. All you have to do is show up at Jimbury Sofitel, MWF yung schedule nila, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m. to 12.30. Yun yung class niya. Bring baon for your kid kasi may snack time sila and you could Try for yourself yung Jimbury classes nila and how it is for you and your kid. So, to get the full benefit, start on a Monday, Monday 10 o'clock, and then bring a baon for you and your kid, 
and then go back on two on Wednesday and on Friday you will have your culminating activity or parang graduation. So this is absolutely free, no strings attached, no nothing. You don't have to use a code or whatever. It's something that I want to share with you all for watching this video. So I hope that I see you there. I'm going to enroll River on that as well. Mga end of August, because we still have class right now. And I've told all my friends about it. So all of them are trying it out. And it's such a nice experience. I hope to see you there at Jimbri Sofitel. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope that you enjoy and learn something about it. And makita kita tayo sa Jimbri Sofitel. See you guys on the next video. Bye!